And staying with this story, Ajanta Manufacturing, the company in charge of managing the bridge in Morbi, has not reported any cash flow since 2016, according to its financials available on Bloomberg. While nine people have been arrested so far, the company's top brass has not even been summoned by the police for questioning yet. Kiran Khatri takes a deeper look at the company, which is at the center of this tragedy. This is the official website of Arriva, the company that is under the scanner after a century-old bridge collapsed in Gujarat's Morbi. The company was in charge of maintenance and management of the bridge. As per the website, the Oriva Group is famous for making Ajanta wall clocks. It also offers CFL bulbs, lighting products, e-bikes, home appliances and other electrical products. The website has no information about its construction and infrastructure projects. However, that did not stop the Morbi Civic Body from awarding a 15-year contract to Ajanta Manufacturing, a part of the Oriva Group in March, to maintain and renovate the Morbi Bridge. According to the contract that CNBC TV18 has accessed, it was Ajanta Manufacturing's responsibility to incur the cost to repair the bridge and reopen it for public. Ajanta is also responsible for the operation of the bridge, staff appointments, sanitation and ticket booking till 2037. The contract also says that the Morbi municipality won't interfere during the tenure of this contract. As per reports, the Oriva Group incurred a cost of 2 crore rupees on the repair work. The bridge was reopened on the 26th of October after a period of seven months. Jaisuk Patel, the group's managing director, made this claim. Nothing will happen to this bridge for at least 8 to 10 years. The bridge collapsed within four days. The responsibility uh, is as much of the private company, but more essentially of the municipal corporation, which gave away the contract and uh, the conditions under which it gave, the lack of supervision, the lack of uh, uh, control, the lack of administrative management. That the municipal body, that is the owner, must step forward and take responsibility. I find this is very strange that the owner says, oh, I didn't know the bridge was in operation. I mean, you can't be sleeping at the wheel. Ajanta Manufacturing's financials show that the firm recorded a revenue of around 275 crore rupees in FY21 and nearly 270 crore rupees in the fiscal year preceding that. However, there has been no free cash flow since at least 2016. There is also no publicly disclosed information on its profits. That brings us to the question. Why was a company with zero cash flows handed out a contract to maintain a bridge that is a prominent tourist spot for 15 years? And why was the contract to maintaining a suspension bridge given to a company that is specializing in watches, home appliances and electric vehicles? Oriva is yet to make a public statement on the incident so far. In Mumbai with Kiran Khatri, Arundhati Ramanan.